do it now? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it now. So Terry Foster, our friend of Big D Energy and of Woodward Sports, has been out in the streets. And T. Foss, the man who has built up an impeccable journalism career, has been talking to his Lions people. Terry Foster, the stage is yours. I understand you have a, a, a bit of a bombshell for us. I do. Here's what Brad Holmes did not tell you yesterday. Um, he has a A++++ draft. It's, it may not happen, but here's what he's hoping for. He doesn't want to stay at six. So screw six. He wants to move up to three. His dream is to get Will Anderson. Not, not the quarterback that people want. Um, he's afraid of Jalen Carter. The whole organization is afraid of Jalen Carter. They're probably not going to go that way. So, uh, But what he would need for Jalen Carter to become a Detroit Lion, it would have to be a 3-0 vote with him, Sheila Hamp, and uh, Dan Campbell. That's not likely to happen. No. He's got another thing that he wants. Uh, I don't know how people like this, but within the first two rounds, he wants a running back. Now, is it going to be at 18 with Dijon Robinson? Um, me, personally, I don't spend on a running back in the first round. But uh, one thing Brad Holmes has said, it's fluid still. Decisions haven't been made. If he determines that Robinson is going to be like Barry Sanders, he will take him at 18 if available. If not, he will find another running back in the second round. Third dream case scenario, and this is Brad Holmes is hoping that in the third round, and I know he's a fourth round guy, but he's hoping for Noah Sewell because Noah Sewell might be more valuable for the Lions than he is other organizations because Pinay, his brother, has been talking to him for years. And he's told him about the culture. He's told him how, you know, what, how he's going to have to act if he comes here. Obviously, his brother wants him here. So the other d dream scenario is the third round if Noah Sewell is there. My guy believes that Brad Holmes will take him.